Hey y'all, <laughs> how you doing? Well, Amina here with Law Decor by Faye. Hope you're all having a good day. Why do I always do that? I don't know. Um, today I decided that we would make, this is gonna be like a two-parter. So, um, I've been practicing on these ice cream cones. Um, so I tried to get the second one started and then I couldn't, so I got glue. And then I couldn't find the right size balls because I had smaller balls for this size cone and this cone was a lot smaller than this cone. So once the yarn is on, this ball will be fine. But I, of course I had to go hunting around and I almost had to go drive to um, uh, the Dollar Tree or something to find Cheryl some more. Says hi. Hey Cheryl. Oh, there's my voice. I don't Sandra like says, Sandra says hi. Hey, how you doing, Sandra? Thanks, y'all, for coming in. Be sure to sh uh, spread the love. We're going to make an ice cream cone today, a patriotic ice cream cone. And um, so I practiced on this one. This is a smaller base, see? Um, so I had smaller balls. balls. So I've been running around like a chicken with my freaking head cut off. So, um, and it, this, this uh, foam is a little bit darker than this foam. I had... Some more dark foam left, but I don't think it was enough for this. And plus, um, on this one, I didn't do the line. So what I did, okay, let me back up. So what I did, this is um, this is gonna go in my um, centerpiece. Hopefully, it might be too big. I don't know. If it is, then it'll go in a wreath. So what I did was take this sheet of foam that you get like at Hobby Lobby or Joann's or somewhere I got this. And I just took a ruler and I made all sorts of lines. You can tell I started here because the lines are like way close together. And then they started getting big down here because it got a little monotonous. <laughs> Hi, y'all. How you doing? I Thanks so much for coming in. Okay, so what I did was took a pen and just did the lines you know, both ways, crisscross. And then I took my glue gun and you have to make sure it's on low temp and you go over the lines. So I just have a, I was trying so hard to finish up the line, the lines, the lines real quick, but I have a few left to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do those right quick while you're all are watching. And this gun being on low temp is really a pain in the took us. So you have to squeeze really hard, you know. No. And so I'm just going over the lines because then you're just going to... Um, Janet says hi. Hey, Janet. You're just going to take one of those sponge brushes with a little bit of brown paint on it. You know, just like the paint that you can get at uh, Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of those places. And... Um, Put it on really lightly and just go over these lines. That's what gives it the appearance of being a cone, right? Yeah. Sugar cone? Yeah. So it looks like, yeah, one of these sugar cones. See, now that I just put a new stick in so it's being a pest. I was trying to get this done because, uh, you know, watching glue dry is not too exciting. So is everybody having a good day? Everybody got their cars filled with gas? Because I don't know about where y'all live, but here in Norfolk, lines are crazy. You'd think Armageddon was here. People are loading up their cars with gas. Um, like crazy. So that's what we're going to do once we finish here. So hopefully this is going to be a... Um, Sandra Quick live. Awesome yeah, it's um, the weather here is really it's nice and sunny, and it's like just below seventy degrees, so it's nice and cool outside. It's a perfect day. It was hard to stay inside today, and then of course I was over at Brian's yesterday, and we were crafting, and I left my um, my water, you know, thermos, and my. Uh, my favorite uh, nippers, so I had to go run over to Brian's house, which was an unexpected, you know, trip for the day. You know when you have your day planned out. 
It never seems to work that way, but that's okay. So I was over there for a hot minute. And when, you know, y'all know when Brian and I are together, it can't just be a two second visit. <laughs> I know, we didn't know about it till this morning either. And when I went to the post office to drop off some orders, um, I, t I have to drop by the Costco here. And I told my husband that the line was around the corner. Couldn't believe it. And of course, my light, my gas light went on yesterday, and I didn't bother stopping to put gas in my car. This thing is really hard to squeeze when it's on low temp, y'all. My hands are really bad. So this is this is this is the this is the only really poopy part. The rest of it goes really fast. So we have um Oh shoot, I should have. The cone. This cone, this bigger cone, is a 3.7 inch by 8.9 inch. Sandra, it's happening because there was a the heck? ransomware on, a, on the pipeline company that yeah. supplies fuel to up in New Jersey area. We get that's where we get all of our fuel, so they shut down the pipeline as a precaution. Yeah, and it's disrupting the flow of fuel to the southeast United States. Wow, causing you'll see gas prices will be going up. Um, people will probably be getting in fights and shooting each other. Don't say that. I am not a lefty at all, y'all, but my hand's really getting sore. You can see I'm shaking so hard when this thing's on low temp. I'm going to put it on high temp for just a hot minute because I only have a couple of lines left to go. And I was really trying to get this done before 4.30. But it took longer than I anticipated. Yeah, isn't this weird? This It's weird. It's so weird. It's like one thing after another. Satan's working hard, man. You don't have to really put a lot of glue, but it ends up dripping a lot. You just have to put that light little, you know, kind of like touch the, the uh, surface of the foam. Now, this is the first time I'm doing it. So, why is this like? Feels like it's turned off now. I turned it on to high and it. Okay, last stripe. Mary is here from San Diego. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? Yeah, it feels like it turned off. Did it unplug? Can you check to see if it unplugged me? Because it feels like it turned off. I can touch the dang thing and I turned it up to high. Did it? Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks funky, but hey, Kathy, your friend Kathy's on, Stephen. And then, um, okay, I'm going to take the uh, plastic off of the, the balls, and these balls are 3.8 inches, so they're your four inch balls. And I got these like last week. Last uh, winter. The loop or last... still on, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's not powerful. It doesn't plug in over here. Huh. Great. <laughs> I turn it up to high and then it feels like it's not even plugged in. Because it's cooling off now. I wonder if I. I don't know. We'll see. So these are, yeah. I had these since last winter, so or last fall. And, no, that's my other. That's my colored glue. Nope. Nope. Can't. That's what it's used for. So we're gonna. Ha I have the chunky yarn in red, white, and blue. 
Yeah, I found two balls this this size, and I was like searching and searching and searching. And find, I'm like, please God, let me find one more. So this is what we're making. Look, it's pretty big. And then you use the pinking shears on the edges. So it's fun. That's light. And then this is your dowel that's gonna go in and hold um your balls all together and sturdy on here because see it's it's not going anywhere. So I'll put this off to the side. And um so I just sat here messing with this today and was sitting here doing this. And then you, so you just take this and then um, lay it at an angle. So this is going to go over that, but you lay this at an angle so it's not quite to the edge because you want to make have a little cone shape at the bottom. And then you go. I just roll it a couple of times to make sure I get it where I want it. So see, you really don't even have to do the whole thing. You can do the lines on there after you cut cut it, but um, I didn't, because I didn't even do the lines the first one go around. So, see, this is a little long down here, but then I can go like that and do it like that. Charleston and Kim Horstman. Hello, hello. Hi, Kim. How are you? Okay, so we're going to glue this down. Oh, crud. Maybe. <laughs> this is not warming up at all. Turn it back low, maybe. Was it on high before when you used it? Use it on high before, right? Yeah, it's always on high until I put it on low today. And God. Oh, here it comes back. Okay. So I don't have to see here. I have my glue pot on too, but it gets really messy. And this might be. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is just take this and do this on the corner like this. You don't have to put a whole lot. And just get you that and glue it right on there. And then just go ahead and roll. See the smaller cone I um I cut it down before I rolled it up. But this one I think I'm just gonna try to do it. Y'all you know what it is, winging it time. So we're just gonna the stick didn't work too bad, so I'm just going to use the glue pot. But I want to use the glue gun on my balls. Just did not sound right. Where's Jojo when you need her? I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we're supposed to have a cold front here in Norfolk. But I guess the cold front made it like 70 instead of 80 which I was like in the 80 degrees it was nice but it was like that basically only on Mother's Day <laughs> so I'm just gonna make sure this is rolled tightly and then just continue it the rest of the way and so there we got that and then I have the, oh, crud on a cracker I wanted to do the pinking shears on this but I didn't so the pinking shears will just be on the top of this one, which is no big Joy deal. and Virginia say, oh, Joy says hi to us, and hi, hi, Virginia hi. Prince says good afternoon. Hi, Joy, how you doing? So these are just some hi, pinking Virginia. shears. Thanks for joining us, this is Virginia. And we're just cutting this down. I'm going to leave it a little over the cone. You know, the balls to kind of sit in. There we go. So see, it looks like an ice cream cone. And then I will glue this shut. But see, it looks like a big old ice cream cone, doesn't it? Now we're going to work on our balls. I'm going to start with red, just because red goes on the bottom. Did your glue gun come back on? No. Um, not really. So I have tons and tons of this because I do make balls, y'all, that are in the shop. You know, the filler balls, Halloween colors and everything. 
So have, has anyone started, hi Virginia, hi Ruth, oh yeah, it's hot now. Um, has anyone started on fall now that Mother's Day is over? So I'm just doing, I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm just doing a big circle of glue right here on top. Joy asks, what are you making? Hold on one second, I'm not sure yet. Right now I'm making scoops of ice cream. <laughs> We're making a patriotic ice cream cone. this here. We're making this right here. I just did not do lines on this cone yet. But I wish I would have cut. Yeah, I didn't even think about the pinking the edges all the way down, but that's okay. Maybe I can paint that on there to make it look like it's pinking all the way, you know, on here like that. I'll figure something out. I always do. Or I'll just put that on the back in the in the wreath you know <laughs> so we're making the um we're just making the balls right now the scoops of ice cream so yeah when i went over to brian yesterday we started um working on some ball because i swore this season i would not get behind because <laughs> i have been behind it seems like for two years now <laughs> i feel like i've always been behind So we're just um, gluing. At the beginning, when you first start this, it's a little bit of a pain. Um, you gotta hold it in place, you know, to get it to stay, and make sure that the ends are together because they like it likes to slip. And what I do is I kind of scoop this down below the glue and then scoop it up, because then it help it kind of pushes the glue up towards. Um, the previous row of yarn and it helps it to stick better. I figured that out out of make after making a hundred balls last season. I made balls of all colors and then I you know the cones I made um candy corns too. So there's candy corns in the shop as well for all your Halloween decorating. And I'm going to bring them to, you know, that one store I sell at, the, that I sell the beach stuff at, because we figured we're going to, I'm going to um, paint some starfish, like to look like candy corns and stuff, and then the, and add it with the balls and have it as, you know, just a bowl filler. Because it's kind of hard to make a uh, beachy Halloween. It is, ma'am. And those beach people don't like to veer off from their coastal decor. So see, you just go up underneath this and kind of push the glue up. So it kind of like rolls the yarn and it pushes it up against the previous line and um, helps it to stick faster. See, and now once you get to this part, you can flip it upside down and just go up from here. And so it gets a lot easier. And you don't want to put too much glue on at first because it dries pretty quickly on this styrofoam. And you can use this flat styrofoam or the, um, you know, the textured styrofoam balls too. You can use either one. I got the flat ones um, to make those material ornaments, you know, that uses the strips of material. This is just that. Uh, be cozy chunky yarn. I don't know if this is be cozy because they sell this at Hobby Lobby and they sell it at um, Walmart, or you can go online too and get all sorts of color, fabulous colors, more than they have in the stores. So, are y'all fixing to make dinner? What are y'all having for dinner tonight? I don't know what we're having. I was thinking about making some meatloaf. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. And I like to use ground turkey in my meatloaf. I, I 
red meat is just not agreeing with me anymore, it seems like. The older I get, the less that agrees with my stomach, it seems. And so we're just going around. And it's actually pretty quick, especially if you use the smaller ones. <laughs> but this one... <laughs> okay, Kim, I need to... Breakfast to your house for dinner. Raw tempura shrimp and salad. Shrimp and salad. Yes, I, I do have some goodies that came in this week that I'm going to be showing you. And one of them is Kim's. It's from Kim Horstman. Kim, you can put your link for your shop on here if you'd like. It's um, Wreaths and Decor by Kim, right? I'm telling you, I get a lot of stuff from her, oh, you know, recently and... Everything I've made with her items has sold, so... Uh-oh, Joy's having food potato and sirloin. Oops, and sirloin. Oh, Joy, you got me. <laughs> you had me at sirloin. I... Oh, have I'm mercy. Y'all are making me look like a bad wife. But I don't have any gas. I don't cook. If I had gas, I'd be here. <laughs> I'm going to put it this way. I don't have any gas in my car tank. Okay. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> be a little more specific. So see, and then we're going to leave the middle part a little hole there so that it's easier for the dowel to go through. Well, and actually this is just one of those shish, shish kebab sticks to go in. Wreaths and decor by Kim. Yes, she's got some cute things, y'all. Wait till you see. Wait till you see. You know, the bee gnome and the ladybug and the... Um, St. Patrick's Day gnome that I made, and um, the Uncle Sam gnome. Those are all by Kim. She's very talented. Very talented. So then, after I finish these, I'm still looking for some fake hamburgers, y'all, that look decent. That don't look poopy, you know? That aren't squeaky. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter if they're squeaky or not. Because um, that doesn't matter. I just want them to look decent and not plasticky. I have looked under felt, hamburgers, everything. So we're going to leave just a little space for the um, dowel to go through. Just a little space. So we're going to end up cutting this off. Sandra says, hello, am I late? Hi, Sandra. No, not at all. Right on time. All's we've done. We're making a, um, an ice cream cone, just like this. Well, bigger. We're making a bigger one. And all we've done is um, put the felt on, and I showed them how I put the lines on here. Because then what I'll do at the end uh -oh. is just take some paint and one of those sponge brushes, and go lightly over, these are glue lines on here, and go lightly over it so it looks like, um, more like a waffle cone. Miss Kim just said something to me. Uh-oh, there we go. Oh, I should have thought of that. <gasps> that would be fabulous. Oh, and I have people that I need to tell because they wanted me to find some for them. So, um, yeah, girl. Yes. So there's our red one. We're going to do a white one next. That would be amazing, Kim. Oh my gosh. Yes, you'd make a cone, I'm telling you. Everybody's looking for them. Yeah, putting a real hamburger on there isn't my spirit. No, especially not with Steve Brown. <laughs> you didn't make it so the, I have this left over. I'm going to start with this because it's easy to go, you know, if you run out to, to uh, pick up where you left off. So you just go wherever on the ball and make, I make a nice big circle so I can start pretty good you know um especially on smaller balls y'all make sure you have those thumb thingies on the bigger ones it's not so bad but the smaller ones yeah you you'll burn, burn yourself your you're blue. like crazy um yeah especially if you use um like twine or something see and that's all you do but you want to make sure it's tight because otherwise it's not going to look good. We have Miss Donna from Bronte, Texas. First time watching. Hi, thanks. I'm Wilhelmina. Everybody calls me Willie. And this is Wall Decor by Faye. Donna Hall from Bronte, Texas. <laughs> yes. This, um, Faye is my middle name. But that's the only thing that would fit in my Etsy shop title, so. 
Huh? OT, yes. And that's my husband, Steve, moderator. And we're making... Steve, moderator? I thought it was Steve. Porter. No, Steve, moderator. Oh. Yes. Take my name without telling me, did you? Yes. And so we are making the ice cream for this humongous ice cream cone. Um, so the, uh, the finger is better. Um, it's got some neosporin on it. I'm letting it breathe, see? Yeah, so... Let me get close up. Okay, stick it out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not pretty. It'll probably have a scar, but that's okay. I have scars on my arms from burns from waitressing for 30 years, so what's it, you know, come on. <laughs> Battle scars, right? So we're just putting um, the yarn on our balls right now and discussing what everybody's having for dinner. Making my husband hungry. Hungry, yes, because I don't feed him. I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't feed me enough. I, <laughs> you feed me, but just not enough. You know, and I cut this right on the day of my manicure, y'all, so there's a big old slice in my thumb finger now. I'm like, really? Now I have to wait three weeks. <sighs> the things we have to go through, right? So you just go down a little bit below the previous um, row of yarn. So you can take it, you go below it, and then push it up. Because then it hooks the um, two rows together nicely. You just kind of push it up like that, and it lets it uh, stick faster. Why, I don't know, but it does. I found that out the hard way. I found that out when I was doing these with um, twine for my nautical wreaths, you know? Of course, they were the smaller balls. But I, yeah, these are the four, well, you know, 3.8, 9 inch balls. And see, once they're, uh, once they have all the yarn on it, it doesn't look so minuscule on there. It's an easy project. You know, and you can uh, put this in your in your patriotic wreaths. Heck, you can make, you know, um, black and orange and purple. Do it for Halloween. Do red, white, and pink. So Do I it for Valentine's Day. Stew. My friend brought me. I had surgery last week and came oh. down with Bell's palsy. So all I can do is block bugs. Oh, wow. I don't know what Bell's palsy is. I've heard of it. Sandra said, I don't know what that is. Very hard here in Long Beach, Texas. Oh, wow. Boy, Texas has been getting hit left and right. Especially weather. Yeah. Yes. It's been crazy, crazy. Yeah. See, it's looking pretty cute. Didn't, didn't, um, and you just leave a space at the bottom for it to sit. Didn't the lady that we drove to see oh, yeah. in Virginia have Bell's palsy at one time? I have no idea. I won't say her name again. Yeah, I have no idea. We got a good rain today also, Donna said. Are y'all far from each other in Texas? I know how Texas is, Texas is huge. huge. I used to live in Arlington for about four years. Right in between Dallas and Fort Worth. Like I love their lightning storms. Across the border. Across. I love, love, love their lightning storms. It takes a good while, yeah. So we we drove... Did we drive through Texas when we went to here? No. Because we drove from California to here. But I think we went above Texas. Below. Below, below Texas? Well, Can't go below Texas. We'd be in Mexico. Mexico. I don't know. <laughs> that was like 87 years ago. I don't know. Well, you remember everything when it comes to driving. Mm. So now we're just going to... Donna says about four to five hours apart. Oh, okay. And Sandra says yeah, that's yes, good. they're supposed to get it all week. Wow. So send some our way. I might... Well, we got some rain. Yes, was it yesterday? So now you're just going to put some glue on the, on the ball and the end of this... Um, yarn where you left off. So you're just going to put some glue right on the yarn and on the ball. 
just to make sure. And it's so fluffy, you know, you won't be able to tell where you left off and start it again. So you just take it. And I usually like to cut the yarn when it does this at an angle, opposite angle, so that it fits nicely together. There's not a bulge. See, you can't even tell. So it's just, you know, it's an easy, you can sit there and watch the television and do this, you know? If there's any good shows. Y'all, is there any good shows on Netflix or Hulu or something? Because I can't find anything good anymore. All my good shows, I've watched them all. And, um... Yeah, like, I'm still waiting for Grace and Frankie to come back on. I love that show. Do y'all like that show, Grace and Frankie? Have you watched it? Freaking hilarious. It's very, very funny. I loved it. I think I've watched all seasons twice. At least. I'm fixing to go watch watch it again because I just can't find anything good to watch. At all. Other, other than show, lives. <laughs> you watched another show at Outer Banks House. It's been yeah, that had like one time. season. One or two seasons, I think. Yeah, they're supposed to make another But I like, season. there's the show called... Um, Marvelous Miss, Mrs. Maisel. Oh my gosh, that show was good too. That was three seasons, and I'm waiting for them to come back on because they're supposed to. But that was a good show. But it seems like, yeah, since COVID, you know, they can't do the show, so. Not the good ones anyway. They need to. Kathy says, yes, love Grace and Frankie. Yes. Funny, funny, funny. Well, I love um, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Oh, my gosh. So the they guys, just work so good together. The men were funny, too. Yeah, the men were funny. But there's a lot of different men. Oh, that's, yeah. oh what's his, um, what was his name? Martin Sheen, is that the? I don't know. Jane Fonda's ex-husband. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah. I don't, what's the name of the other guy? Who Lily Tomlin was married to. Aren't they both gay now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so now you can just go hold it like this and finish it the rest of the way like this. Face it up instead of down. You just got to make sure that because it likes to the yarn likes to separate from the previous row. So you just got to make sure you push it together. Because all of a sudden, you know, I found out the hard way. That too, that you can, all of a sudden you'll see like a gap. So just make sure you keep it nice and close together. You can tell there's like moss and stuff all over. From my last projects. Yeah. So then we're just going to need leave another, well I think I might leave a little bit extra. No, I didn't really need to. Just a hole because we're going to put a, da a, a skewer through this. Just right down the center. Or you can put it up off at an angle if you want. But you're just going to put this like right down the center for the... Just like this. Just shove it on in. That should be good enough. Just to make sure those balls aren't going anywhere. So you're using the skewer to hold all three of the balls plus go into the collar as well? Mm-hmm. It goes, there's enough length for all, all that? That's what I used on the last one. Mm, cool. Yeah. Now these balls are bigger, so That's we'll find out. One. We'll find out, y'all. This is my first time doing one. these, so. Oh, you had to for like 17 years? Yeah. So, um, you know, we're, we're winging this together. Now I'll just cut this off. Isn't that the theme here? Winging it with Willie. And see how we just left a little hole in the middle? Because that's where the skewer's going to go through. And you're going to put some glue down here so that it'll hold on to the previous ball. Now we just have the blue to do, but see how fast this this uh, yeah, project is? It's 
You know, you could just kick back and watch a half hour show and get it done. Get her done. Well, except for the monotonous, this part. But other than that, it's not a bad project. That was crazy. Next time, I think I'm just going to do, I don't know. I'll figure out a shorter way. Talk about the cones. The stripes on the cones. And I'll cut the pink, I'll cut with the pinking shears. See, these are pinking shears. They're really cool. And these are from my friend, her grandmother. And they still work perfectly. Because I went, and they're, oh, they're that, they're whisks. Uh -huh. you, whisks. Everybody's using, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are using the whisk scissors for their projects. And um, these happen to be whisks as well. So I guess whisks has been around for a long while. And see, you're just making it a nice tight, tight uh, coil just like that you gotta hold it for a second just at the beginning and then I have I have this little red ornament on that on the other one I had a little red fluff ball I just coincidentally found and I'm like oh yay because I forgot all about putting a little cherry on top but I also have this bag of cherries but I don't know if this is going to be too small of a cherry. So we'll see. We'll see. Because I tried to, I, evidently I tried to put this in a wreath last year because I glued this little head part down to it. And try, I tried to rip it off, but it, it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so and we're just going to, you know, you just go around so it looks like a snail, y'all. Just like that and just kind of sweep up underneath it and push it up because then it gives it extra extra security you have it on the ball and on the previous row of yarn Everybody is very quiet. yes y'all are very quiet cooking dinner eating, eating down without yeah I know this is a strange time of day to come on but I realized you know a lot of people come on later so it's yeah, a lot of really are. crowded. So I figure, well, you know, I'll have people watching the replays. And that's okay. Yes, ma'am. That is okay. And see, you just go underneath. I do. I appreciate y'all very much. And we just go up and underneath and push it up to the previous row. And it holds on. See, just like that right away. All these little tips and tricks. I had learned the hard way. <laughs> right. Trial and error. Yeah. On a lot, a lot of balls. I have a whole big old box full of balls right over there, y'all, in every color imaginable. So if you need a color combination of balls, just let me know. I probably have the yarn for it. I went crazy ordering yarn, y'all. I and figured out I could... I'm buying it as well. We bought a lot of yarn at the store. Though. Well, I'm... No, I'm talking about the cool colors, oh. like the Halloween colors. I have neon green and bright yellow and bright orange and purple. They look really cool. I should have brought some out, but yeah. Crazy day again. Hello, Becky and Judy and Marlene. Y'all, I thank you so I'll much. Please you. be sure to share or the sprinkle the love. And I also have a YouTube channel, so anybody who's new and hasn't checked out my YouTube channel, please um, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get, um, I'm, I have to work up to a thousand followers, y'all, so I can go live on YouTube also. You know, and with everybody getting their um, pages hacked and everything, I gotta be able to, if I can't go live on Facebook, I need to be able to go live on YouTube. So y'all please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also have a, um, an Etsy boutique where we sell signs and supplies, ribbons. Um, Marlene asks, where picks. did you order your ribbons from? My yarn from? Your yarn, yes, sorry. Ow, ow, ow. Um, um, be Cozy, B-E-C-O-Z-I. And, and you get it pretty fast. Say hi to um, Teresa Robert Gordon. No, hi Teresa. Thank you all for coming in and spending some time. Oh. We're making some ice cream scoops for 
our Gigantimus ice cream cone. Gigantimus? Gigantimus. That's a new word. And now we're going to flip this upside down and work on it this way. Gigantimus. I like that word. <laughs> That's the new word of the day. Yes. Shauna says hello. Shauna McDowell. Hi. How you doing? I hope your day is going nicely. I hope you all have gotten gas in your cars and everything else you need gas for. Because um, we have yet says, another. Uh, LaVon says, hey, everyone. Hey, LaVon. Oh, playing with hot glue. It's scary. I know. I know, but I think I finally got this this one down. Now that I, and, and right when I say that, what happens? I stick my thumb in the glue. Oh my so goodness. you just cut that off. Oh, my God. That's when, that's with working this chunky stuff is really. Cut the glue off or your thumb off? The glue. You said cut this off. I'm like, don't cut your thumb off. <laughs> no, not my thumb. I tried that last week. Didn't oh, work. Right. Thanks, LaVon, for blessing my page. See how there's a gap right there? Because I didn't push. Teresa also said that as well. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate y'all. See, and that's, you got to make sure you push down because all of a sudden you'll look and you'll see this big old white gap there. And that's no bueno. So we're just gluing up a little bit farther down than you need to so you can push this on down like that. And just make sure there's no gaps. And these see these balls come out pretty big, y'all. Once that yarn's on there, holy cow. Holy cow. But, like, if you see any little glue spots, you can just cut those off. Not a big deal. And these balls are so big that it, the hot glue is not that scary. <laughs> you can keep your fingers away. The smaller the ball, the more scary it is. <laughs> you get those ones that are like the size of a lemon or something like that. You're in, a, you're in danger. Especially if you use twine. Twine is, yeah, a little bit more difficult to work with. Yes. Very and avoid, you know, to avoid getting your fingers burned. Lots of, uh, burn potential. So we're just, uh, and then we're, of course, we're going to leave that last little space. When you get to this part, you can put as much glue on there as you want because you're going to go around this last little circle really quick. Are you? Yes. Really quick. Well, thank you, Marlene. She subscribed thank to you. the YouTube channel. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to be able to start going live there too. That would be awesome. You could go live on and then I can show um, some of the new signs that we have for in the um, in my shop in my boutique. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut this off. And see, there's a little bit of glue there, so I'm just going to leave a little hole for the skewer to go through. We're going to hold that down so it stays. And hope the palm of my hand doesn't get stuck on there. <laughs> See, now you can either go blue, white, red, but then the cherry will be red on the red. So we're going to go red on the bottom. So I'm just going to take some glue. I've just used a regular skewer. Let's see. See, I might have to pull this out a little bit farther before I glue it. You can pull all that out, put the balls on, and then put it in so it doesn't push the... Rod into the cone, right? No, that's not how I did the last one. Oh. So I'm just gonna do it like I did last time. Get the pointy end facing. Now that you've done the pointy end of the foam one, you should pull it out and put the pointy end. You know what I'm saying to help you? Yeah. Help you get through the balls a little bit easier. Yeah, I think the um. You don't glue the. Hold on. I know you won't. <laughs> These balls are a little tougher to go through. The other, so use the rough balls. The rough balls seem to go through a lot easier. I need some help. Nope. 
I just don't want to stab my finger. I got it. I thought it was going to help you hold the sticks in the There we go. See, that's not going anywhere, y'all. Now I'm just going to, um, there we go. Now we're going to do the white. Yeah, I need a longer dowel. This, this this skewer isn't long enough. <laughs> I'll figure out something. You know how us crafters are. We'll figure out something. I just don't want to make sure. I just want to make sure I don't put my finger over where this skewer is going to come out. You don't want to skewer your hand. Yeah, these balls are definitely see. Now it's at a little angle, but that is okay. So can you grab another skewer? Yeah, I was going to say you could cut it in half. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to grab another skewer. I think it looks kind of cute wonky. What I'm going to do is glue this right down here. See, we're learning this all together, y'all. Your thing needs to go. Cut right through this, your cutters. You got them over here? Yeah, they're in the... Thingy. Over there. Right there. Oh. So I just put some glue on the foam um, cone. And I'm going to hold this here for a second. How long do you want? I can, I can put up. Oh, yeah. Wait. What on the other end for you? Put right there. Because I just got to put a little in here and enough for the ball to be on there. So probably about like that. Tip on this one. So this one has a tip. No. That one has a tip. You want two tips, don't you? Okay. So I'm, we're just, um, Steve's going to put a tip on the other skewer. So like I said, with the with these lines that I glued on here, I took a pen and this ruler, you know, and made the lines. And then I did some glue over it. And then you just take one of those little sponge brushes, like you can get it uh, Dollar Tree. I use the little round ones, and then you're going to dry brush um, some brown paint like you get at Walmart, and just um, lightly go over the just the glued part where the lines are to make it look like more like a waffle cone. But look how cute! It's humongous, y'all. This is huge. This is going to be like. Twenty four inches long, so two feet long. <laughs> That's a good size cone. Here's Steve's dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna have some water while I'm waiting. He's just putting a point on the other end for me. Get socked up. Foam, hard pass foam. Yeah, and this is just foam that I got from Hobby Lobby too. Hobby Lobby or Joanne's, one of the two. And then we just used. Um, this was a three, 3.7 by 8.9 inch cone, this big one. On this other one, I used a smaller cone and of course smaller balls. These are like the 2.9 balls. And this one's only um, 18 inches long. So it's a little smaller. But I used the um, textured balls and it went through a lot easier. Thanks, Teresa. Yeah, it's cute and it's fun and easy. So um, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here because I don't, knowing me, I'll get it all over the. And I think I'm gonna put this in at a smidge of an angle just so that the blue can go over to the other side. Oh no, I put it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it straight down. Okay, so that's glued in there pretty good. Now we're gonna shove this one on there. And 
And I'm going to put a little bit of glue in between these two. Just to secure it. Or a little added security. There we go. Look at that. That's going nowhere. Look how cute. And then I have this. See, I can't get this dang end off. Otherwise, you just get one, you know, you just get a, a or make, make a little yarn ball. Yeah, I can't get this off. This jobby jobby, because it won't, I didn't, I can't, well, no, I can't. It's okay, I'm just going to glue this down. It'll go into the, um, it'll go into the yarn. Thank you. And we'll just shove this down as far as I can. It is cute. <laughs> and then you have your own little ice, well, not little, but you have your own ice cream cone. And so on um, Thursday, on our live Thursday, I'm going to work on, um, can you grab the Uncle Sam thing on the table? Uncle Sam thing. Centerpiece. Y'all, my um, patriotic truck that we made together, she sold. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm probably going to make another one, but different. Make it a little more country looking, maybe. So this is what we're going to work on on Thursday. I have him mounted to that little cake tray. And see, I was thinking of using, well, I'm going to use one of my ICs on there. And like probably this guy or something. I don't know. And yeah. So look. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> Quite the difference, isn't it? Holy cow. So that's what we're going to work on Thursday. Goodness, we're going to work on him. And I'm, I think I'm going to try to sell him locally because um, he's a big one. He's huge. Well, that's good because we're big ones. Yes. Okay, so I wanted to show you some of the goodies that I got. Um, this is from Robin's Re3. I know you know who this is, y'all. These are little watermelon slices to make. They are so adorable. And I got these a couple of weeks ago and still haven't used them yet. So you know a watermelon's coming. Look how cute they are. And they're ready, you know, they have little jobbies on it. To put your um, pipe cleaner or wire or whatever you're going to use. Look, and the little seeds, they sparkle. How cute are those? So I got those like a week or so. Well, more than a week ago. Probably two. So I, I, I have like the mesh sitting over here. Oh, I did it. I don't know what I did with it. Holy cow. To make... Um, a water, a watermelon weave, <laughs> a watermelon wreath. What did I do with the mesh? I was cleaning. See, this is why I don't like to clean, y'all. And then this is from so, so sassy, so sassy. It's an Etsy shop. I, I believe it's called so sassy. So, oh, I should have looked before. But these are lemons. So I wanted to make, I'm going to make a pink lemonade wreath. Oh, aren't those adorable? Because in my Etsy boutique, I have a pink lemonade um, sign with a truck on it, with a pink truck. And it's so cute. And that's going to look perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, okay, Kim, I'm going to show yours. This is from Kim Horseman with... Um, and decor by Cam. I'm afraid to use this now, y'all, because of the thumb incident. Okay. That was crackers. Figure it out. So wait till you see this, y'all. Wait till you see this. We're seeing it together. 
I yeah. Other than from ordering it, I have not. I wanted to wait and open it with y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, she makes some of the cutest wreath attachments. Okay, y'all, get ready. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, look! <laughs> Is that too? Hold it down. Oh, there you go. Like this. Look. There you go. But I want you to see the billow. <laughs> Isn't that too cute? Look at those little hiney cheeks. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to make this one, y'all. And it's got little daisies on it. And you know how I feel about daisies. And look at her toenails. They're purple. Oh, my goodness. It matches her tattoo. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and she keeps sending me pictures of stuff she's making. So I called her an evil. I said, you're an evil woman. She said, I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, this is so stinking cute. So that's, um, Wreath and Decor by Dawn is her shop name, y'all. She has everything. Gnomes, gnomes for every season. And now she's going to be working on her hamburgers, y'all. So let's watch for some hamburgers. Okay, and I have one was, more package, and then I'm going to show some socks. Who was the thing you just showed from? Kim Horseman. With, with um, wreaths and decor by Dawn. That's okay. Her, that's her name of the uh huh. Yeah. I know. I can't wait, Kim. I cannot wait. Um, here's one of our signs for it. It's an awesome patriotic sign. Oh, while you're watching, yay! <gasps> you're so awesome, Kim. There's a lot of glare on this. Is it good now? Can y'all see? Look at how. Well, when I saw it on my phone, it looked like it. Look at that. That has an amazing sign. You know, it kind of says it all. Freedom isn't free. You know? Yes. And so now we've got a little um, Halloween sign. Thanks, Karen. And all the signs I'm showing now, um, well, this this size here is 7 by 9 and they're also available in 8 by 10s All you got to do is go to my shop, my boutique. This one is a square sign right here, but it's available in round, too, in 8-inch round. This is an 8 by 8 square. But it's available in eight inch round as well. Back a little bit for you. It's so cute. Look at that little piggy. Come on. And those cool sunglasses. Yippers. And then of course we gotta start thinking about Christmas, y'all know. We're already starting to think about Christmas. So here's a good um old fashioned Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't know why I say it like that, but I do. <laughs> now just where How cute at, is he? Look at his little red cheeks. Just tilt it where you're at. Just tilt it back towards you at the top. That's what I'm doing. Okay. okay. Look at those little red cheeks. How cute is he? It reminds me of growing up. What's, what's he calling me? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. And then we have a nice fall. And, a, you know, summer, fall sign and these eight these eight inch rounds also come in 12 inch rounds and here's another Christmas look at those classic farmhouse style cute huh seven by nine and eight by tens okay and this is the last sign for today y'all and look at this. And it brings some blue in there. Blue always looks good in um, fall designs, don't you think? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so those are our new signs that are in the boutique now, y'all. Karen says, sunflowers warm my heart. 
I know, I know. I have a thing for sunflowers and daisies this year. Those are my jam this year. Where's this package from? This one is from Starlight Wreaths. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've been waiting on this one for quite a bit, but it's worth the wait. You know those handmade items, you gotta wait a hot minute. <laughs> Karen says, love that one and that one. I'm going broke over here. Oh, I know. Believe you. Hello. Look at me and my packages. Are you kidding me? You're not the only one to eat. <laughs> oh, I know. But what a fun way to go broke, huh? And just think of all the money you'll make from the cool designs you'll make, right? Wait till you see this, y'all. You're gonna think it's all out. This is from Starlight Wreaths. And they have an Etsy boutique as well. I'm trying really hard not to cut off with them again. Okay. Oh, so close, so close. Alrighty. Ah, wait till you see this, y'all. It's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, I gotta bring it down here. <laughs> you just for another second. Oh my goodness, he's so stinking cute. Drum roll, please. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes, y'all. And the cutie is. Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Is that a chicken? No, it's a sun. Oh, but the beak looks like it's a chicken beak. It's not a beak. There's no beak. Okay. <laughs> and it's got the shades on. See, this his nose is flat. That's very cute. I know. And then I have these pics, y'all, that have little suns on it. And I think the suns have sunglasses on them, too. Oh, oh my cute. gosh. Isn't he adorable? And this is from Starlight Wreaths. Uh, isn't he cute? Mm. Little shades on him. So adorable. So adorable. Okay, y'all, that's it for today. <laughs> We've got to go find gas. Yes, we do. So y'all do the same and uh, be safe. Have a blessed night. Go shopping. Get some signs. And I've got ribbons and all sorts of stuff too, y'all. Make a can, uh, candy cane, an ice cream cone. I'm going to paint this cone and then I'll take pictures of it. And y'all can see the finished product. Just, you know, it's all finished except for that, but. That's about my size ice cream cone. I don't know. Okay, y'all. Thanks so much. Have a blessed night and we'll see you Thursday afternoon, 430 Eastern time. Same bat channel. Y'all have a blessed night. Thanks so much. Love ya.